And the people who are here to protect the citizens are arresting them. Back out and cross, get across the line if you so choose. Otherwise, you're under arrest for trespassing. We love you, man. Right. We love you, brother Ali. I just want to say that uh, today I'm here in solidarity with all people across the country who are um, in this terrible housing crisis, and and also especially with the people, uh, family of the Cruz House, and we asked the banks to renegotiate with them, and that's why we're all here, and I'm. Um, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. PNC is mistaken if they think they can run away from this problem. Because we're not going anywhere. And evictions stop here. Who's house? Who's house? Who's house? Who's house? Who's house? Who's house? Okay. Off the property line, too. Please. Okay. You're on the property line. I, I guess. I guess the best way to describe this is that um. Okay, back up. I guess I recognize that the world is a complicated place. I respect the law. I respect the people who enforce the law. I think. I think a just society demands that citizens have a certain amount of respect for the law. But at the same time, I also think that something is fundamentally wrong with the way our society is going on right now. I think that for whatever reason, the influence of power has created a system of laws that alienate. The little, the little guy, the average person, people like you and me, people like basically everyone here from actually having their dignities and needs respected by the state. And so I, I feel that we have no choice but to actually confront that and, you know, kind of shake things a little bit. Anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Christian, and uh, for years I've been sick of what's been happening. I've been sick of seeing these fraudsters on Wall Street get away with fraud, crime, and nothing being done about it. Nobody yeah. acting. I'm sick of people. I'm sick of people getting kicked out of their homes because of mistakes by banks, because of some job loss of theirs, some minor mistake on their own. It's time to stop this. Yeah. And this is just a minor symbolic act. But something has to be done, and it starts here and starts now. That's a good Christian. Yeah, that's a good Christian. Woo! Hi, everyone. My name's Eric. Just got one quick thing to say. This country is being taken over by greedy sociopaths, and we must fight to take it back. Woo! My name is Bob, and I'm pleased as punch to be here. This is the right place for us to be. This is the right place for each and every one of us to be. Now I want to say, I call upon the name of God and Jesus and all the angels to come and aid us in our righteous struggle. Amen! I'm David and uh, I'm here because the middle class has been under attack and it's time that somebody stands up and does something. Leaders on both sides of the aisles refuse to act because their corporate donors will stop funding them. Right. It's time that regular citizens stand up and take a stand for their neighbors. Thank you! Thank you! Uh, I would just like to say Everyone should have a right to have a roof over their head, and the system is not working, so we need to come up with uh, new ways of living and new ways of putting roofs over our head and new ways of protecting ourselves. Um, hopefully, um, some lines will shift in the future, and we'll have some more lines. And um, for David and Alejandra and the whole Cruz family and everyone else that is fighting, um, for justice in their community, and for a roof over their head, and um, for everything else they need. So, thank you for being here.
So, I'm here in solidarity with the cruises and with everyone who is now in the power of the banks. Thank you. I've spent seven years working for the military overseas, three in a combat zone, picking up the pieces of brown people being killed. $22 million an hour, I think, right now is being spent on the murder of civilians overseas in Southwest Asia while our countrymen go without medicine, without health insurance, without homes, without education. And the people who are here to protect the citizens are arresting them. Something has to change, and there comes a time when silence is betrayal. We won't be moved. We will not be moved. Thank you, Mark.